What up guys, it's The Fighting Therapist here and we're gonna cover episode number six on sleep your way to fitness. Now before we start this video guys, don't forget to please subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button so that these videos can help as many people as possible with YouTube's algorithm. Don't forget to hit that uh, first link down the bottom called newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get the first come first serve of all this information with which I have already posted in an email. Everyone has it and then the video comes out a month and a half later. You guys know the drill, so don't forget to do that. Now, can you really sleep your way to fitness? The answer is yes, and actually sleep should be the prime thing that you have dialed in in your program. Now, if we just cut everything down and ask you guys, how hard are you training? I'll get a good answer, you know? Are you pushing yourself? Are you eating nice? Maybe the food, some people are like yes and no. But when it comes to sleep, a lot of people are not sleeping as much as they should, or they're gonna say, no, I'm good. I need about five, six hours of sleep. That's pretty much false, and you've just taught your body how to, your body got used to like having really shit sleep, if you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. Your body is very comfortable now with poor sleep. So you just get accustomed to it. Just like anything else your body gets accustomed to, you got accustomed to that. So you can maybe sleep six hours, but you're not getting efficient sleep. And to back this up, I'm gonna put two articles down below. Really simple ones, really easy that you guys can follow that talks about sleep. Why, right? Why sleep? Why is sleep so important for us? So I'm sure you guys know, you know, it helps with recovery, it rejuvenates everything. But when we push our bodies really, really hard, we increase the demand of oxygen that we need in the body. With that higher oxygen demand that we have in our body, our body starts to accumulate lactic acid, right? So like that burn, the hydrogen atoms that are in the muscle, that's what starts happening. And because our body really does like to stay in a homeostatic state, right? So just like a neutral balance, it's gonna start pulling alkaline reserves from our bones, right? From our minerals, from our bones, to stabilize everything. And because we're pushing our muscles so much and causing all that micro tearing, we're also taxing our ATP, ADP system. So we're really pushing our bodies to the absolute extreme that we can. When it comes to sleep though, sleep is where a lot of the recovery happens, right? So with sleep, we also get a huge influx of growth hormone. And growth hormone, growth hormone really plays a big factor when it comes to muscular tone, fat, uh, immune system, function, and also the firmness of your skin. So like growth hormone does a numerous amount of things. It also helps build muscle. Um, there's a great study that I actually got off Ross Edgley's uh, page. It was actually super interesting. It was done a while back, but they took sprinters, like high level athlete sprinters and marathoners, and they deprived them from a night of sleep, and then also took another group and gave them sleep. And they noticed that in the two groups, the group that had no sleep, that were on the same training program and the same amount of calories, actually lost muscle mass and got fat, where the other group actually gained a whole bunch of muscle mass, mass and didn't gain fat. That was one example. The second one was they took runners that did a 92K run, right? So what they did from there is they wanted to see what happened after that run when it came to sleep, so we could really understand why sleep is so important. Well, two things pretty much happened. They increased the duration of the sleep for a couple of days after that run, but they also increased the amount of deep sleep that they got per, like, per days that they were sleeping, right? So I'm pretty sure it was roughly four days, four to five days, they slept longer than normal, and within those four to five days, they increased the amount of deep sleep, which really showcased how important recovery was after that amount of output they did in that run, but also like where the sleep cycle was most important for recovery for the athletes so that they can go back and replenish everything, especially when it came to the brain and the neurotransmitters in the brain, right? So for our body to function, our brain has neurons inside and neurons communicate with new neurotransmitters. And when we push ourselves to the max, we really start depleting that and they don't function as properly. With sleep, we recover that and we rejuvenate the neurotransmitters in our body so that we can be as efficient as possible. Pretty much if you ever experience jet lag or just sleep deprivation to when you're actually slept really well and everything, you could, you get the idea. You're, you're like a lost zombie and you're a machine, right? Those are the two differences. So sleep guys is super important. Try to make that a staple when it comes to a program that you want to follow or a goal that you want when it comes to muscle building, fat loss, anything like that. Sleep plays a big factor. Dr. Gregor also has been posting a lot on his channel on nutritionfacts.org, which I'll post down below when it comes to sleep, fat, when it comes to fat loss, again, just overly body function, how our body 
uh, relies on sunlight and sleeping and everything like that. So go check that out. It's actually really fun and interesting information. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you very much for listening and stay tuned for the next one. As always, it's your boy, that's exact. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. Peace.